kind of worked like a pyramid scheme. Gielin brought me in. I brought other girls in. Those girls brought other girls in. And no matter what, Jeffrey constantly had that open revolving door of young women, young teenagers, children, I like to call them, coming through his door for one purpose and one purpose alone. Uh, and he didn't care what he had to do to get that reaction from them, to, to get them to have sex with him or get them to, I mean, sometimes he would just jerk off in front of them and, and rub his nipples. Sometimes he would have intercourse with them. Sometimes he'd make them, you know, give them blowjobs. Gilin participated in these acts with him as well, you know, and that was just the never-ending cycle. That was every single day. So we were at the island by ourselves, Jeffrey and me and Gilin, and we had gone for a nice snorkeling event. I mean, in some ways, we were a little fucked up family. I mean, we would sit together and watch Sex in the City together, and we would um, go hiking, we would make things together. I mean, we collected all this pirate treasure, like just broken glass bottles, and we'd make a table from it. Like, we did weird family stuff. All right, so it just wasn't all about that, but that was how this, this worked, the inner goings of it. You know, it, it was, all right, you need to have sex at least, you know, Jeffrey needs to have sex at least seven times a day and have this happen at least, you know, this many times a day. But in the meantime, you know, we're going to sit back and have some popcorn while you're giving him a blowjob and watching Sex in the City. Like, it was just really screwed up, kind of a little family unit for a while. So anyways, one day we went snorkeling on Jeffrey's Island, and um, it was beautiful. It was a great day. I was exhausted. It was, you know, hard to swim in the water. And we get up and we're taking off our flippers on the, um, the jetty. And Gilen, you know, starts talking to me about um, how would I feel about having a child? <laughs> what? <laughs> having a baby? Yeah, it would, it would be your baby, but it would really be our baby. And we would have you sign a document that says um, that you would have an allowance, you, we would pay you $200,000 a month, and you would have a nice house, but this child is really ours, and we can do what, what, you know, what our, we want to do with our child. You, you could be, basically never take this child from us. <laughs> I said, okay. Um, let me, you know, get my massage certificate, and I really want that. That's important to me, because eventually when you guys are done with me, yeah. I would like to have something to do with my life. Okay, okay, we'll, we'll work on that and blah, blah, blah. So a few months later, he sent me to Thailand to go get a massage certificate, right, on top of picking up another girl for him, of course. I escaped. I called Jeffrey to let him know that I was not coming back and I was not bringing the little Thai girl back. And he said, you know what, have a nice life and hung up the phone.